may be seated. Dearly beloved, we have come here together in the presence of God to witness the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The sacred relationship of marriage was established by God in creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned marriage by his presence and first miracle at the wedding in Cana of Galilee. The Apostle Paul chose marriage to symbolize this union between Christ and his church. And Holy Scripture commands marriage to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given to one another in prosperity and adversity. You would have the foundation of your marriage to be the devotion you have for one another, not just at this moment, but for all the days to come, and treasure the hopes and dreams that you bring here today. Establish that your love will never be blotted out by the common, nor obscured by the ordinary in life. Faults will surface where now you find comfort, and admiration can be shattered by the routine of daily life. Dedication, love, and joy can grow only when you nourish them together. Stand fast in hope and confidence, having faith in your shared destiny just as strongly as you have faith in yourselves and in one another today. Only with this spirit can you forge a union that will strengthen and endure all the days of your lives. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but soberly, deliberately, and in reverent fear before the Almighty God. Jesus taught us that at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this cause, a man shall leave his mother and father and cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. And to this holy union, Wes and Abby shall come to be joined as husband and wife. Now you may turn towards each other and join hands. And listen to the declaration as I present to you both. Wes, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in holy covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her so as long as you both shall live? If so, answer with, I do. I do. Now, Abby. We have this man to be your husband, to live together in holy covenant of marriage. Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him, so as long as you both shall live? If so, answer with, I do. I do. Now, Wes, will you repeat after me these vows to Abby as I say them to you? I, Wes, take you, Abby. Uh, let's take you as to be my wife to be my wife to have and to hold, to have and to hold from this day forward from this day forward for better for worse for better for worse for richer for poor for richer for poor and in sickness and in health in sickness and in health to love and to cherish to love and cherish until we are parted by death until we are departed by death i give you my promise now, Abby, will you repeat after me these vows given to Wes? I, Abby, take you Wes. I, Abby, take you Wes. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. I give you my promise. The Bible describes the kind of love that we are to have, each for the other, recorded by the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. Love does not brag. It is not arrogant. It does not act unbecomingly. 
but it does not seek its own. It is not provoked. It does not take into account a wrong suffered. It does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with truth. Bears all things, believes all things, hopes on all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Now, some time ago, when you two came to me and asked me if I would officiate your wedding, I, in return, asked you both to individually write down three things that you love about each other. They didn't know I was doing this. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> it took me a long time. <laughs> Wes, these are the things that Abby wrote down that she loves about you. He is funny and has a sense of humor. He respects me and he is thoughtful. Now, Abby, <laughs> you really want to know. No, I don't think I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're here and it's just us, these are the things that Wes wrote about you. She is caring, she is also funny, and she is dependable, and she is responsible. <laughs> Can we go forth? Is it? Yeah, okay, that's, that's, that's going to be. <laughs> Having this love in your hearts, you have chosen to seal your vows by the giving and receiving of rings. May I have the rings? <laughs> These rings, though small in size, they are very large in significance. They're made of a precious metal. They remind us that love is neither cheap nor common. Indeed, love may cost us dearly. Made in a circle, their design tells us that love must never come to an end. We must keep it continuous. As you wear these rings, may, you be, may they be a constant reminder of the glad promises you are making today. Now, Wes, will you take everything, place it upon her ring finger, on her left hand, and repeat after me. With this, ring, With this ring, I seal my promise, I seal my promise to, be your faithful to be your faithful and loving husband. Now, Abby, will you take your ring, place it on Wes's third finger, or his left hand, and we'll do that me. With this ring, With this ring I, seal my promise I seal my promise to be your faithful, to be your faithful and loving wife. And loving wife. You'll notice the table over there. The two outside candles have been lighted to represent your lives to this moment. There are two distinct lights, each capable of going its separate way. To bring joy and radiance into your home, there must be this merging of these two flames into one. From this time onward, may your thoughts be for each other rather than for your individual selves. May your plans be mutual, your joys and sorrows shared. As you take each your candle and together light the center candle, you will extinguish your own candle, thus having the center candle represent the union of your two lives into one flesh. And as the center light cannot be divided, let your lives not be divided, but instead as Christ be divided. <laughs> Father, we come today asking your blessing upon these two lives 
and this home being established. You have made us so that we are incomplete without the other. So we yearn for someone who we can love and whose love we can receive. We are thankful for the love we see here and even more for the love we feel from you. May we, take your, may we never take your love for granted. We pray that your love will be a shield and stay for Wes and Abby. When joy comes, may they share it together. When sorrow threatens, may they bear it together. In gladness, in sunshine or shadow, may they ever draw closer to each other and nearer to you. O oh Lord, grant them patience, gentleness, forbearance, and understanding. We ask that you protect their home from those forces that would break it apart. Bless them, O oh Lord, with health for long life and for the fulfillment of every good dream. May their love continue through life and finally blend into life eternal. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May you come before us and before God. You have expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You have shown your love and affection by joining hands. You have made promises of faith and devotion each to the other. You have sealed these promises by the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, by the powers invested to me, as well as of the state of Indiana, I now pronounce you husband and wife. May God bless you and keep you and give you his peace. And by what God has joined together, let no man separate. You may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you now Mr. and Mrs. Wes and Abby Denham. Mm -hmm. 